How's the feeling of being not religious? Hello everyone, my name is Lucia. In today's video, I will chat with you several commonly asked questions on the internet about being religious or irreligious. My purpose is to simply talk about how's the feeling of being not religious, the things you may find interesting or different, as China is an atheist country, what Chinese people believe in and behave. Honestly, I still don't have a lot of exposure to the religious events and people. If I use some word or something make you feel not so comfortable, I had to say my apologies in advance, and I will really appreciate if you can point it out in the comment below. And personally, I also believe there is no absolute right or wrong, so we can uh, discuss in the comment below. So from the statistics, we can learn that uh, China have 75% non-religious people, we have 15% Buddhism, 2-3% to Christianity, and 0.5% of Islam. The first question I commonly see in the internet is, since China contains 75% of atheist people, what do we believe in? Generally, uh, in short, we can say uh, Chinese people believe in common sense, most of Chinese people believe in science and being a good person. For most of the Chinese people, we believe in the things we can actually see. For example, most of us don't have an upper presence, but we respect the nature and our ancestors, because they are the ones who create us. We believe the things we can see and we believe in the actions we can actually do. For example, we believe that we get food because of our work. And if we want to have a better life, we need to work harder. And we believe in uh, if we get sick, we need to use some medicine or use some medical treatment. And we also believe we need to fix things by our hand when they are break. Another interesting thing I want to share is when I'm in high school, I study biology. At that time, the theory of evolution by Darwin for most of us are very natural to understand. We have a certain saying says, 人定胜天, that means man will conquer the sky. Well, it actually means man will conquer their fate, man will control their fate. And another saying is 事在人为, that's the human effort can achieve anything. Uh, for us, we have the moral standard such as Confucius. I know that is more of a tradition rather than a religion. Also, China formed the most of its moral standard from traditions, which is experienced and practiced by many generations. And that is the roots we believe in. And another factor due to my personal opinion is that we live in a society. We were taught to follow the moral standard inside this society, and then we will be recognized to that society. At the meantime, I don't deny that we might have unethical people, but uh, also it might happen to everywhere, to any groups, and which is also a very small portion of the population. Another question I saw pretty frequently is religious free thinking. How do you think? My short answer is yes, but it have good and bad parts. So in China, as I grow up, I will have certain questions such as who am I? Where am I from? What's the purpose of life? And where will I be after life? I also see some sayings in Chinese that life has no meaning, no purpose initially, but we give it a purpose during the lifespan. Those philosophical questions are really hard to answer. Sometimes people get confused and their beliefs change a lot during their changes of their knowledge and their vision. So sometimes when facing with difficulties, facing the loss of their important person, people might feel their life is meaningless. Also, we have a group of people love those questions and believes it is free thinking. And yes, exploring, discussing, and thinking about these philosophical questions can be fun. Next question is, how do we think about being religious? This is a really good question. My understanding of being religious and the religions are positive. My first exposure to the religions is that I read the story books from local bookstore when I'm a child. I do think those are very positive and beautiful stories. And after I have more exposure to religious beliefs, I do think it is beautiful. It makes many philosophical, many confusing things so explainable. It avoids the things especially the unexplainable facts, to be overly complicated. Being a non-religious people, when things get difficult, it's easier for us to feel happiness. You know, uh, no one is blessing you, you need to solve this problem by your bare head. But religions, to some extent, can make us feel strong, feel secure, feel being loved, and feel not alone. And from a non-religious people's opinion, once you believe in the 
blessing of upper presence. It can be act as a strong law of attraction that make people have a calmer mind and better performance. Another opinion from me is religions shouldn't be something to separate people apart. Whatever your religion is, whether you are religious or not, I will love you, I will respect you first because you are the first physical evidence I can see. And I also believe that there is no right or wrong because of the religions. Another question is afterlife and ghost. Sometimes I feel scared that we don't have an afterlife. That made me feel so scared or so sad about death, not only for myself, but also close friends, close families. That means uh, someone just disappear, or that is something totally uncontrollable. Some people believe that having offsprings can be very important because that's the continuation of life and that's almost the only way for the continuation. Another interesting thing is most Asian countries have more ghost stories. When I was younger, I heard a lot of ghost stories. Also, there are many well-made Japanese horror movies about ghosts. I heard a lot of folk stories about people see their ancestors as a ghost and people revenge after death or people can see ghosts when they are in a very young age or before they're passing away. And also I remember some articles uh, talk about how to deal with different type of ghosts. <laughs> For example, ghosts with white clothes are innocent, ghosts with black clothes are evil, and red ghosts are dangerous and vengeful and have superpowers. <laughs> the next question, is Chinese government banned religions? The short answer is it is not banned, not promoted, and somewhat being controlled. First of all, the Communist Party in China is publicly irreligious. While religions are not banned in China, we have religious places such as churches and temples, and you can also find uh, religions-related books uh, from the local bookstore, for example, the Bible Story, and we also have WeChat groups and religious presence on the internet. The religious itself is not banned, but once you create content such as internet materials or books, and that will be moderated and not absolutely free. Generally, the government's attitude is non-promotion and skepticism. The government could be skeptical because we believe that religion can be a control mechanism. It's okay to believe in certain religions in China. You can go to churches, temples, and have private conversation, but you know, it's not a good idea to hold any public activities. Another example, doing missionary work in China will be a bad idea. On the one hand, you will be supervised or even banned. On the other hand, it will be extremely difficult to switch an adult from non-religious to religious. Especially this is from their early education from the society and their family, which is like switching someone's religion from one to the other. That's pretty difficult. I hope this video can be informative. If you want to learn more about Chinese culture, feel free to check on these videos. I will see you again soon.